Hello, I'm Pat Minogue with the University of Florida talking about Chinese privet, Ligustrum sinensis, which is an invasive weed very common throughout the southeastern United States. It's often found in fence rows and at the edges of forests. It's very shade tolerant. It can grow in the understory of forests, but tends to be most prolific at the edges of stands. As its name implies, Chinese Ligustrum is native to China. Another common name is Chinese privet. It is considered invasive in much of the southeastern U.S. Chinese privet grows in very dense thickets and can get up to 12 feet tall. A variegated form is cultivated that is not known to produce viable seed, but it will propagate vegetatively. You'll see many runners and and uh, rhizomes sprouting from the ground. Common to see this in our yards. Twigs are hairy. Leaves are opposite. Simple, all green. Leaf blades are about one and a half inches long and three quarters of an inch wide. They're elliptic with blunt tips and entire margins. The mid vein on the underside of the leaf is hairy. Leaf petioles are short and hairy. Chinese Ligustrum produces many small white flowers that are often considered unpleasantly fragrant. They occur on slender hairy stalks in narrow cone-shaped panicles on the terminal end of branchlets. Here in late September the fruits are a light green, but with time they turn a dark blue to even black as the winter progresses. The fruit is very persistent and will remain on the branch until early spring. Many varieties of Ligustrum are still sold by ornamental nurseries, commonly planted in landscapings. But be careful with this plant. It spreads prolifically. It produces so many of these seeds, which are favored by many bird species, and spread the plant throughout the countryside. Dispersal is a real problem with this invasive species. It can easily get out of control.